Trey, I was uh, just curious uh, after talking yesterday about all the minutes you played and such. Can you just kind of run us through like how you felt last night and what you did and how you felt this morning when you woke up and and, and how much, uh, if at all, uh, that thing bothered you today? Yeah, uh, I felt pretty pretty good last night. Better than I thought I was going to. Um, but I, like I said, it's all mental. Um, and it's really just being able to lock in and play hard for your teammates. That's the one thing that's keeping me motivated is being able to play hard for my teammates. I know they got my back. So I'd say just going out there and just leaving it on the courts is the main thing I've been trying to focus on. Tyler. Hey, Trey. I hope you're doing well. Um, what do you enjoy most about playing for Mike Woodson? Um, I'd say just the competitiveness. Um, he wants to win just as much as we do. Um, and he's going to fight for us and fight with us. And that, that's one thing I really, really like playing for him about because he believes we can win any game we play in. And that's, I, I like that a lot because um, with him installing confidence in us, that's, that's one thing we really need. And that, with him behind our backs, it's, we're hard to beat. And he trusts us and we're getting each more trust with every game we play with from him. Um, it's been good to just go out there and compete for him. Okay, now I don't have any other questions after Dustin. So if you want to get another one, put it in the chat. Dustin, go ahead. Hey Trey, what um, just what do you guys just feel like has done gone so well just defensively, especially the last couple of games? And what did you think about just what you guys were able to do uh, in particular about, against their guards in this one? I think Plummer was two of twelve. I think Frazier was something like two of six or two of six from three. Uh, just what went well for you guys collectively, especially on the perimeter? Yeah, uh, well they got going early from three, uh, making a couple. And we knew that was our game plan is to get them off the line, run them off the line because they're really good shooters. Um, and luckily, we got lucky there a couple times with the missing shots. But I think we did a great job of scrambling in the no rotations um, and just playing hard was the main thing. And I think all five guys in the court at all times were playing hard. And it came down to the last minute, and I, we got the job done. So just playing hard and trying to get stops was, was the main focus. Tom. Trey, you guys, uh, that defensive effort the last couple of games has been huge, and uh, it looks likely looking ahead to tomorrow that it's probably going to be I, whether it's play, and they're scoring at sort of a crazy pace now. Yeah. Um, that, what ex what sort of extra challenge does that bring, especially how much they are uh, been, been awful good from three-point range too? Yeah, I mean, they can score the ball. We've seen that, and we know that. So I think it's going to be a big-time challenge, um, but it's not going to be one guy. It's going to be all five guys trying to defend. Um, and we know they can really shoot it and spread the court. So uh, it's going to be a short notice and short game plan, but we got to really lock in because it's a short turnaround, and we know that um, it's not going to be easy, but we just got to lock in on our game plan and trust the coaching staff um, and, and find ways to just keep competing. Tyler. Trey, you've uh, played almost two seasons of college basketball now. Um, what do you feel like is the biggest thing either – on the court, on, off the court, or, or both that, that you've learned about yourself over the course of your college career? Um, I think one thing I've really learned is just being that calming presence um, in a big time game. I feel like I can really help my teammates and be there for them. Um, and I think also just playing hard um, and being able to defend. That's one thing I try to focus on late in the game is just keeping my defense up and trying to get stops for my teammates. That, that's the main thing is a lot of these games have been close, and they have been. So I think the main focus for me is just trying to find ways I can get stops. And obviously, I'll have to create for others. And uh, if I see the name, drive and be able to score. So. Jim Coyle. Jim Coyle. Trey, uh, you're an Indiana kid, so you know more than some of the guys that are on the team that are transferred in or from here. But with what Indiana has gone through as a program over the last six years, what does it mean to you personally to be a part of not only turning this program around, but waking the state up? There's just a lot of people who have been waiting for this program to be what they know it can be. What does it mean to you to be a part of bringing that back? Yeah, it means a lot. Just knowing the history and with this program and just obviously the struggle the past couple of years with figuring out and making, um, doing the right things. I think that's been the main focus is we, our, our goal is to make the tournament. And so we're taking it one game at a time um, and focusing on our game plan because we just want to beat what's ahead of us. 
Um, and I think we've done a great job with that re- here recently, um, coming together and really clicking at the right time. I, I think we're – that's the main thing is we're, we're playing well at the right time, which is, which is huge for us. Kevin. Chris, can you just talk about you're growing into kind of that point forward position? Uh, it seemed like today you were picking your spots, when to drive, when to bank shots in, and, and when to distribute. Uh, how has that progressed over the course of the season? How much more comfortable are you at? that now early in the season? Yeah, I, I feel pretty comfortable. Um, I think Coach Woods has really put me in those positions to be able to make plays and be able to get in positions where I can create for others or uh, maybe score. Um, and my teammates trust me as well, so that's a, been a huge thing. They've been telling me to stay stay aggressive, and they all want me to stay aggressive and be able to make plays. But I think just trying to make the right play um, is my main thing I need to keep focusing on and to help this team win. Tom Brew, and we'll finish with Dustin. Trey, you've been really good uh, really all year this year in regards to getting a lot of steals in passing lanes and such. How much of that is uh, scouting and watching teams, and how much of it is maybe just uh, quickness that maybe the opponent doesn't expect from you but, uh, that you get so many steals? Yeah, I think it's a little mixture of both just knowing what guys like to do and tendencies. Um, but I some of you could say some quickness, but I think just – you know, to read the passer and read the guy if they're not holding me off well enough. I just be able to read it and make the reads. I think that's the main thing. Dustin, last question. Uh, Trey, it seemed like they were uh, just doing a lot to try to blow up any type of ball screen act, ball screen action that, that Xavier was trying to get. But it seemed like you were able to get some lanes that way. I mean, basically, was there an adjustment that you guys made that you see that there was going to be uh, maybe an opportunity for you, you to take advantage of something that they were going to try to take away from X? Yeah, um, well, they, they were guarding ahead of certain way they were trying to guard the ball screens. So we knew there was different driving lanes for us and that we had to do. So, I mean, Xavier had the ball in his hands a lot, and uh, we knew that we needed to keep moving a little bit. But he did a great job on the ball screens, I thought, um, just making the right read every time. But they, they, they read it a couple times on him, so they, I had chances to get down the lane, and um, I tried to do my best.